Cam's playing so well. But all anybody wants, myself included, and I'm a Cam Newton guy, I just want to see fucking Mac. Like, I want to see him go out. It looks like Tom Brady reincarnated up there. That's what it looks like, Donner. Yeah, well, I mean, the the reason I say Mac is because, like, his pre-snap reads just feel better than Cam Newton's. Like, the whole thing... Hey, you know who the MVP is, Connor? The MVP of that game that people aren't talking about. How about that offensive line? Any highlight yeah. you show, Cam, Mac, whoever it is, is sitting back there for days, it feels like, letting everything prog- – I was sitting back there thinking, if I'm on defense, man, we can't cover for five or six seconds. Like, guys are going to come open. And I think Mac and Cam both did a good job of hitting, like, little windows and like, their, de- their uh, receivers sat down in those windows when they needed – I don't know if they can carry that over the regular season, but right now I would feel pretty good if I'm the Patriots. Yeah, like if we didn't have four able running backs, I think it would be a much different story because you probably need Cam to help the running game. But because we have that, it's just like, hey, you might as well have the dude who is very accurate with the football and who can make all the reads and write checks. And I think that is Mac right now. I mean, right now. Hey. But should they start in week one, though? Uh, I mean, I think it's not going to get announced till like Friday of game week against the Finns. It's probably going to go all the way up to there. I would just because his whole thing going into the draft was if you need a quarterback right away, the dude who can come in, learn your playbook and play week one was Mac Jones. So I think you might as well roll with him. And then if not, hopefully it motivates him and, you know, makes him work harder and maybe he'll earn the job week four, week five. For you guys, AJ and Pat that have been in the NFL camps, is it, Pat, you said it, you loved classes in college that the majority of the class was based on tests. Like, hey, 85% of your grade is going to be based on tests. In the NFL, in preseason, like, is is it 50-50 between what you see in practices versus what you see in the preseason games, or is practice more important than the games? How does that work for NFL camps? Patrick? You're sitting in my chair, dude. I think this is your answer. <laughs> I was actually, I found the CBDMD gummies, and I'm actually kind of hungry, so I was going to eat a few of them. I thought you were going to You're going to fall asleep. <laughs> Those have been asleep. there a long time. I've been having a lot of CBD out here myself. It's not the sleepy ones. I don't know. Hey, they're good, though. CBDMD is good until they're not. I only got a couple weeks left for them. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> 25% off. It should be Cam that starts week one. He deserves a shot. Whether I'm a Dolphins fan or not, I think it's best. Who would they... you rather? If you're playing for the Dolphins, you're the safety for the Dolphins. Who do you want in there at quarterback to give you the best chance to beat them? See, but I think if you uh, saw the passes Cam made last night. He's not answering it. No, it's he's all not. right. You don't have to. Yeah, he said, I get it. He yeah. said Cam. It's Cam. You put him on the As spot. As a Dolphins fan, you want Cam. I put you on the spot, but yeah, I get it. I don't, I'm don't. i torn. I don't get see, I don't know what to if do. If you saw the passes Cam made last night, like those are the passes he's going to make with the two tight ends and the way they set up the run. Like, I think Cam will be just as not just as good, but he'll be fine and in he, that system. He let people know that he, he completed some balls down the field. Yeah. That's what made people feel better. If he did, if he was what eight and nine for sixty one yards and didn't complete anything over like seven yards, then you'd be worried probably. Yeah. And I think he got into a rhythm early. Mm-hmm. Like, Absolutely, I think Cam got into a rhythm early. Yeah. It was almost like watching him. It was like, oh, like this is this is good. Like this is what Cam could be. You know, this is like if Cam was playing like this. Had, remember, he had no teammates last year. No, yeah. yeah. He had no teammates. Yeah. I mean, Gunner obviously out there doing his thing, but he had no teammates last year, and he got COVID and COVID yeah. season and you whatever the case was. He was a very driven, hungry dude going into last year. That all got derailed. Then he came out and said, listen, I ain't going out like that or whatever. I just – I love the thought of Mac Jones, but I think Bill Belichick has been very open. Like, hey, this is Cam's team, and if Cam plays good with all the weapons around him, with McDaniel's offense and everything like that, I mean, it could be a, it could be a while before we see Mac full time, AJ. Yeah, I was gonna say Bill has been saying the whole time that Mac, or I mean that uh, Cam is gonna be his starter, and if he continues to perform like this, like why would you switch at at this point and go to Mac? Like maybe he has a little bit quicker of a leash, but I mean at this point, like if Cam continues to perform like this, like what what is he showing that that says like oh he shouldn't be the starter? Week no, you're one? right. It does, it makes complete sense. Put Cam in there week one. Hopefully he plays well enough to hold Mac off where people aren't asking for Mac, yelling, hey, second half, like they're chanting for Mac. And, yeah, you just go from there and see where it plays out, I guess, because then you can always go to Mac if you really need to. But how good does Cam have to play, though, for Mac to knock it in? Well, I was also going to say, let's not forget, um, he had the same exact numbers last night as Mason Rudolph did last week against that same defense. The <laughs> Eagles defense <laughs> sticks. Yeah, and hey, also, hold on, Diggs. I did see that. Hey, I saw you taking a victory lap last night. You had to. to. After the night before that, I had to take a victory lap last night. 
Well, you deserve it, man. And if we're going to go to anybody for preseason football numbers, look at the fucking COVID Cowboy. This guy's got oh, yeah. second defenses, dude. Did, so what does Sirianni think? Do we know how – is Sirianni <laughs> upset about this? I don't know. So first things first, I'd like to address – Jalen, yes, he had a little bit of a tummy ache. Again, this is about the intricacies and the details, and we're trying to figure out what we're doing. We did the Kobayashi method last night. Now now Jalen knows, hey, don't eat 14 hot dogs before an NFL football game. So we will dial that in. We'll get that figured out. In terms of defense, I'll be honest, I have not – address much of the defense thus far this year so i will at this point we're gonna have to get that sorted out you know we'll see which one of these guys want to compete because when we're getting beat 35 nothing i mean you just you can't do it once again i said last week i guarantee we win our next football game we'll get the details right we'll get the little things that we we didn't really do as well last night we'll get those right and we will win our next football game mark my words and Jalen won't eat 15 hot dogs before the game next time all right, let's go, Coach. Yeah, there we go. I like the positivity. Just continue the guarantee the next game you're going to win. That's all you got to do, right? Why not? Wait, will anybody check them? You think, like, how many times can you say, I guarantee next game? I mean, what's, what's uh, the worst that can happen? Say. People are saying, hey, it didn't come true. Okay, well, don't wait this week. I guarantee. Hey, wait till you see this next game, bro. You thought oh. I was serious last time? Wait till I fucking show you this next time. We guarantee you win this time.